Hello and we are back. As you can see, some changes have been made. Uh, I just tidied mostly. I was getting a bit annoyed with just everything that was going on here, so I pretty much flattened it. As you can see, I used the majority of this pick, um, but I flattened it all out. I separated these just because I don't think we were getting any benefit from having six. And then so three and three and maybe we can put something else here I don't know um, and then I, I also grabbed all of this stuff because these are the the farms that we're gonna want to make um, at some point coming over to here um, I've realized something one we don't need the blaze burners but to make this <laughs> we need a pog <laughs> which we are nowhere near well we're near but like we're we're missing obviously the Sparkle Teen and the Gorge Knights, it's a little bit annoying. Um, I did automate our press. Um, so you put stuff in here, it goes through it goes through this little chute that I made uh, into a barrel. Uh, so now we have at least some stuff automated and ready. Um, but yeah, so today, I think one of the things I want to start doing is working on some of these farms. Um, but I also want to make a mixer. Uh, so that we can make brass, because I think it's the only thing that we need left out of the sheets, because we can make gold sheets, iron sheets, copper sheets, but we need brass sheets, and we'll need brass for various things, like the mechanical arm, uh, and the this at some point, but again, it needs another pog. Um, so for now, I think it would be cool to start looking at making some of these farms. And I think we'll start with a tree farm because it's probably the the most reasonable place to start. So in doing so, what we're going to do... Oh, actually, actually, I found out that we can also maybe make our water wheels a little bit better with just a bit of soul sand. So if we take this... And we're going to need a little bit more water. And we come over to our water wheel. So currently, if we look at the water wheel, 256. But if we come back here and we... Oh, too many blocks broken. Wait. Wait, not the right block placed. We want to place, like, there. There we go. Uh, there we go. If we place this here, and then we water bucket these three so that they're sources, so one, two, three, that should be a bubble elevator now. Uh, wait. No, this would need to be uh, the other way around, I think. Wait, let's let's test it on this one, because this one's completely free to test on. Um, if we get rid of this for a second, and we remove the water... Right. That's fine. Okay. So, we want... Yeah, we want... Wait, if we place these instead here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, if we place them like this, when we look at the back, if we had a bubble elevator here, it will push these fins around faster. So, what we do is we come here and we break these again, and then we get our soul sand and we do this, 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 and then this, this, and then if we jump up. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is how we want to do it. This is what we want. So then we come back over here. And if we place water here, place water here, place water here. So currently it's spinning because we... We don't want it to spin... Wait, let me... Let me see myself out for a second. Wait. Then we do here, here, here. Uh, block that. 
And then... Here, here, here. Wait. Wait. No, 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 I, I think I get it. I think I get it. We need to put these back here so that the water still goes there. We break this. We put a block here, 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 here. Then we put the soil sand here, here, here. Then we break that. There you go. 320 is the max we can get. So this one over here is 256. This one over here is 320 now. To get these to match, we'll have to quickly redo that one. So let's go to sleep, and I can at least re-explain the thought process behind it now that I understand. Okay, right. So, we come upstairs, and I will explain so we need to first block the water off. Um, well, let's remove these for a second. Uh, so we don't want water here, here, or here. And that will then dissipate down to those three source blocks there, there, and there. There we go, right. So we broke the whole thing. Let's now remove the roof for a second. So, you want your blades to be facing... Wait, let's remove this. It's easier to explain. Basically, the bubble elevator will push these blades around up until the point where it gets to the top. Then it will push these blades around, all the way around. And then, finally, you do this here, and you break these blocks let's just make this a little cleaner and then this water will come in and push these blades around meaning it's pushing as many sides as possible uh, yeah, yeah 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 but it's these blocks isn't it wait right Oh wait, these blocks, it just wouldn't let me place it earlier. Okay, yeah, 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 these blocks. I was like, that doesn't make sense. Okay, cool, right. So now, if we look at it again, water will push up these, push along here, push around here, and around here. It's only not hitting a couple blocks here, which is perfectly fine. So you need to make sure your direction is okay. Well, I mean, it wouldn't matter. You just have to make sure that it's in the direction of the blades. We could have put the soul sand on this side. It doesn't really matter, but... I wanted it there for some unknown reason. And then we should just be able to do one, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, wait. Three, twenty, wait. What's happened here? 224? Is that the same as over here? No. Something, something's gone funky. I think because it broke. Let's redo this for a second. Uh, and let's try it again. Oh, honestly, this pick is a little bit annoying in the real world. Um, so, again, we want here, here, here. Then one, two, three, then we want here, 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 
here, here. There we go, 320 across the board now. And yeah, that's how you can mildly boost the speed of your water wheels, just giving it a little bit more stress units, which is cool. And that technically should mean that this is running 320 rather than 256, which is nice. Um, yeah, I think that's this is kind of the best I can do. I, I don't fully understand. You'd think I understand better with an engineering degree, but no. Um, but cool, so now I can, if I demo to you real quick, uh, this, let's go ugh, and get a, ooh, hello, do you have anything nice to trade? Nope, 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 and nope. You are useless. Um, if I get a little bit of, what do we have a lot of? We have a lot of copper, actually. It doesn't look like it, but that's because we have it all in, like, compressed blocks and stuff. Um, we actually have a huge amount. Uh, eat that. Right, if I show you now... So you put the copper in here, it'll go into the hopper, bang, and you don't even see it because this pulls out so quickly, and it just comes into here. Three, four, and so forth. I'm pretty happy with that. It's just a, a smart shoot. Uh, shoot, because I needed one that I could put a filter on so that it's filtered only to take the plate, the, the sheets out rather than like all of the ores. So maybe let's try and build a mixer for over this side. Um, so what do we need for the mixer again? We need an andesite casing. So that's fine, we just need one of you and one of you. Uh, put that down, and bang. Ugh, we might have to swap to a normal pick. Um, we need plates and andesite we've got. Uh, where's our crafting bench? Oh, it's over here. Uh, oh, we didn't prep the andesite, like a fool. Um, so we need this which we've got. Uh, then we just need a small cog, which we'll need uh, four of you, uh, a little bit of you, a little bit of you. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to craft it all from scratch because I want to try and remember. Yeah, there we go. Uh, then we need you, which makes you Oh, just a regular. Oh, that's quite nice. Okay. Um, I was going to say that's quite expensive, but uh, we need you. So that will make our mixer. Then we also need a basin. Ah, uh, this needs a perfect one there. Uh, that's fine. Craft the basin. And now we could try and set it up so it's similar. Wait. So, one back and two along. So, one back, two along here, basically, uh, with the mixer on top. So, this needs cogs to go the other direction. Okay. Uh, right, we don't have any big cogs. Okay. We need a couple more big cogs, because I think I redid this. When I was moving this, I think I added more cogs in, um, but that's fine. Uh, we might need some of this and some of this, maybe, I don't know. Um, so to make a big cog, what was the cheap recipe? Oh, it was with using driftwood. Do we, did we keep any driftwood up here? No, we didn't, okay. And, ooh, is that a knowledge star? Oh, that's way too expensive for us. No, that's like 10x what we have. I'm not getting that anytime soon. Uh, that's fine though. We uh, we don't need knowledge right now. We're, we're using our current knowledge. Um, big cog. So, let's make two for now. 
Is this cheaper? Yeah, because that uses one layer mark anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so then we, we come off of here with a shaft. And then we go big cog. Lit little cog. How do I... How do I make you go flat? Or can you go flat off of a big cog? I would have thought you could go flat off of a, a little cog, but maybe I'm not at the right height. Mm, maybe not. Because um, basically we need to... Let's try and organize this so that we are little cog here, big cog here, then little cog here. Yeah, it's not reaching. We could also we could make a gearbox. Let's try this because you know science and stuff. Let's try and make a gearbox for a second. So we need four of you. Uh, we need another one of you to be made into you to then be broken then we make you then let's make it a vertical gearbox right then we come here and we do this and then all we have to do from here is we go one there um, into small We could probably save ourselves some time and we could move this up. There we go. Okay. And then to make brass, all we need to do is mix zinc with copper, but it needs to be heated. Uh, we could try heat it with a campfire. I don't know if this works. Um, if not, we're going to have to investigate the blazes. Let's see. Do this for a second. Then let's go and get our copper. And sleep. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, slipper. We need some more copper. And we've got some zinc on us. Uh, let's do half a stack and see how we get on. If we need the blaze, we've got to look into that. Uh, so what do we need? Just one and one? One and one. Uh, does it need to be hoppered in? No, just the magnet was causing issues. Uh, this should come down, so I'm imagining we need the blaze. So, let's look into this. We need chromatic steel, we've got polished vault stone, we've got an iron sheets. Okay, so, iron sheets, uh, four of you, and some polished stone. And let's go and see how we capture a blaze in this, maybe? Uh, polished, I think is this one? No, this one. So, W to ponder. Using... Oh, just right click on a blaze. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. So we come through here. We've got easy access to blazes. Blaze eye. Blazy. There's one, but we could just wait here as well. 
Am I done waiting? There we go. Get captured, son. And we leave. I know with these we need to give it charcoal. So we will also grab some of that on our way back up. Uh, oh, there you go. Bit of coal. Sure. Uh, so we come back up here. We will break that. We'll put you there with a bit of coal. More coal? What's happening? Yeah, right? In the mixer, heated zinc and copper. Oh, wait. Oh. We might have been able to do this the entire time. Uh, we haven't been using zinc, which we do have tons of, because, again, the mining sprees that I go on. Uh, zinc. 1,000. That's fine. We will take half a stack. And let's see if we can do this, then. Uh, Q. Uh, control Q. There we go. Mixing it up. I feel like this is working quite quick as well. Maybe the last one of these should be a small gear. It's absolutely drilling. Look at this thing go. So we're doing 32. I don't know how long that will take. I don't know when it's when it says it's done. I still see some copper in there. I think. <laughs> Trying to have a look, see. Come on. There we go. Oh, so we get double because of course we put two different ingots in. So actually, we'll put half in there and half in there, and now we've got. Brass sheets? That's pretty good. Okay, so let's now start on one of these farms. So, to start, I want to break some of these blocks. I think we'll do a tree farm to start with. Um, so, let's get ourselves some dirt, because that is what we're going to need. It's so cool, this little, like, factory we've got going on. Uh, so, we want maybe this to be our centre block. Uh, no, we want to go one more. I think if we do one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two, three this will be a good size to start with and I think as I said we'll do trees first just because the concept is literally the same for everything after that uh, so let's put all of this down for a second because afterwards we're going to need to dig some space underneath to work in Uh, yeah, that's just... doesn't need to be a, a thick ground anyway. Let's just make sure we've got a little bit of room down here. Do we have torches on us? Yeah, we do. Uh... Cool. Right, this will do. We'll do as like a little bit of working space. Right. So, I will also need a way in and out of here, so let's, there we go, yeah. That will do, perfect, okay. So we're going to need a couple things first, so let's try and prepare for what we need. So we need a bearing, 
we're going to need a uh, mechanical bearing. We're going to need some linear chassis. Yeah, some of these. Uh, then we're going to need some blades, uh, saws, saw blades, some of these. We're also going to need, uh, I don't know what they're called again, uh, these deployers. Uh, let's try and clear some of this list actually. Um, we did that, we did that, okay. So that, 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 uh, we're going to need some glue, wherever the glue is. Uh, do we see the glue? There it is. There's the glue. And I think that's all we'll need. We'll need some chests as well. So we'll go and get, actually we could use barrels probably. I like barrels. So let's use three barrels. Um, Right, so we're going to need the bearing to start with, which is going to need that. Uh, what does this need? This just needs driftwood and that, that's fine. What does this need? So we're going to need four of you, uh, four, seven of you. Okay, seven. So we need seven of you to go down. Right. So, let's start making some of this stuff. So we need a bearing. This is going to be our base. Then we're going to need some of these linear chassis. So, oh wait, uh, recipe. Four. That's that way and another four, so eight I think in total. Um, then we're going to need a couple of you. Do we have any iron in here? No we don't. Okay. Let's get some iron and I think we're going to need a nugget as well, but that's fine. Let's just grab the uh, half a stack. We'll do for now. Come back up here. Uh, I also think we're going to need more of these plates so let's just grab the rest of that stack and we're gonna need three of you yeah then we're gonna need assy brass uh, so it's good we did this first so we're gonna need three of you which makes three of you which needs another electron tube. So we've got this and we've got the sandpaper. Uh, so to make electron tubes you need to hold sandpaper in your offhand and hold polished rose quartz which uh, is, oh wait, this. Oh wait, no. This is rose quartz and you make it into polished rose quartz. I've already polished all of this, I forget that. Um, my bad. Uh, put that away for a second. Uh, then you use that to make electron tubes Ugh, with we need inventory space um, we could go and put some of this down actually <laughs> just to make it a bit easier so this is going to be in our center then we will have these and it will go one two three four then one Uh, two, three, four, we need one more, shoot, uh, one second, we need one more of you, which will then make us happy, and then we can come down here for a second, and put this here, and some torches, because it's dark as hell, uh, torch, 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 torch. Uh, okay. So now sleep. Sleep and redstone torches is what we need. We could probably just make seven. Um, I think that's probably the easiest way. I don't think we're going to need to keep the 
like the polished quartz as it is. Uh, so redstone. Oh, that was really weird for a second. The range just stopped, and I was like, "Oh, the game's crashed." Uh, stick, which we have some of. Uh, chuck these here. These here. That's good. Chuck these here. That's good. Chuck that on the floor. Make that into that. Then we can put those sticks away. Oh, they went into our, one of our pockets. That's fine. Um, so we come back up here. And then we can make three of you. So now we have the basic ingredients. We do need to have this spinning. Which is a little bit difficult with the fact that everything is over here. <laughs> uh, what we could do, and it's a real stretch, but because I don't want to move anything anymore, is do this for a second. This is going to be the dumbest thing you've ever seen, but it's going to be worth it. Okay, we do this, then line this up here to come like over here. Uh, do that. And then if we quickly whiz our way over we can then use belts to transfer some of this power. Um, see if I can line myself up reasonably. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So this is our tunnel across now. So then we can take power from here down Yeah, 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 yeah. You're gonna understand soon the power of belts and power transmission. Uh, then we can come across here, basically. This is probably not the final design for this, but I think for now it will make the most sense to do. Um, Right, we need to go back up for a second. Uh, we need to actually make these belts anyway, which needs us to grab the kelp that we cooked over here. Here? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, wait. Let's put some of this away. There we go. Right, and then to make belts, you just need a chromatic iron. Got it. So that makes one belt. That's a little expensive, because I don't know how far these travel, but I don't think it's this distance. So we're also going to need more of you, you, there, shafts. Because um, basically the plan is to take this and transfer it over to here somehow. So let's see what we can do. If I do this for a second, how far can this actually go? Uh... Okay, to here basically. But we need this facing upwards. Uh, there we go, we're transferring power now. So now we take this one and we just do the same thing uh, over to here. Uh, no, no, no. We're going to need that and that. Transfer that over to here. Then we transfer back into here. Uh, to here, like so, and then I need one more of these uh, things, and then we'll be looking good, uh, which needs more of our uh, large supply of chromatic, and that is fine. 
There we go. Uh, I could also do with making a clutch if we can. Can we make one of these? Ah, oh, easy. Easy we can. We need some redstone, which is fine, because I'll put this away and this away. Grab a stack of redstone, and now we can make a clutch as well, which will make our life a little bit easier to work with. Um, Because we'll, we'll put you down with you, making you, then I will put you away, then we will make another clutch by doing a couple of you, and then clutch one of you. Uh, for that we will need a lever though, a lever. Um, because if we put a clutch here and then a lever over here, we just need to, again to get the lever. Um, God, it's hard um, living so far away from what you're doing. It's a little annoying if I'm honest. Uh, that was uh, that was brutal. Uh, I will need just cobble then. Cobble, uh, let's put these away. And a stick again. Uh, so bam, bam, thank you. Okay, and then we go back up. Ooh, this is a messy way of doing this, but we are doing it. And we can put this onto here. Then we come down, and then all we need to do is take our extra shaft, put that there, uh, then we need our belt, and we do that to that. And now, oh my god, this is spinning far too quickly. I need to turn it off. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me. <laughs> I hit it twice. <sighs> okay. <laughs> So little quick. <laughs> you live and you learn. That's far too fast for us right now. So what we can do is we can place that there. Um, and we could try and slow this down. Uh, I thought that was going to hold uh, that to there. Right. Then we break this. And we break that, that, and that. Okay. So to slow this down... We're going to want to go small to big gearing ratio, basically. Um, which means we're going to need more gears, because I don't think we have any left. Um, cog. It's just we don't need it that quick. Um, quite simply, it's, it's ridiculously fast. Uh, which means we're going to need more layer armor. That's fine. There we go. The dash actually helps there a little bit. Uh, okay, so we take our layer mark and we do this. Let's get four large cogs and then four small cogs, right? And now if we come over here, we want to go small to big, to small, well, that should connect, no? Uh, wait, uh, big, to small, to big, to, to small, Wait, let's remove this. Small. I mean, we could just uh, take off of you, right? Take off of you, and that will be slower. Yeah, it's not bad then. Okay, right. 
It's okay. Uh, and then we want the glue. We need glue, don't we? Yeah, 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 yeah. So super glue is two slime, iron nugget, and a thing. That's fine. Uh, we need the slime. Climb. Slime. We need two of you. Uh, so you guys can go back. And then we need some iron nuggets. And that will make us a super glue, which then we put these two back. Right. So now if I come back up here, I need to know the direction it's spinning in. So it's spinning this way. So this is the back. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, so we want our three crates to be here. And then we want our three places to be here, but pointing downwards. So uh, one, two, three. Yep, yeah, okay. So then we want to come onto this side and our three we made these. Where are they? Did we put them away? Oh, we did. We want our three mechanical saws then to be on this side. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. And then that should kind of be it. Oh, wait. Oh, these are placed slightly funny where I want them the other direction. Uh, I'd like them to have their this thing facing this way. How do I do that? Um, maybe if I Get out of here. Die. Let's go sleep. But this is the basic concept for all of our farms, what I'm doing here. You'll kind of see it come together in a second, but it's basically going to spin, break, place. Spin, break, place. Uh, and it'll look pretty good when it's done. I just need to decipher how to make it look good. So we want to... Why am I over jumping? Is it because I've got speed on right now and I can't? Ugh, okay. If I place you like that, no, no, no. Uh, sorry, wait. Like that. Are you going to be facing the direction I want you to face now? No, it's still filter there. I want the filter to be facing forwards so that I can see it easily. I mean, it doesn't matter. I guess it doesn't matter. Let's just place them. If we need to, we need to change things. It's not the worst. But as long as I can access them, I guess. Which I can, I can, I can, so that's fine. Uh, so now this should be it, really. Um, Let's get our saplings for a second. Uh, almost the last chest we look in. Uh, I'd like to replace that dirt block now. So if I take our saplings now, and I, oh, it's not done. It's not done. We need to make a storage interface which will be the thing two of these we need okay so we need two more of the special blocks that's fine combined with you there's one shoot already uh, we need to make another of these uh, recipe, that's fine. Uh, and then 
one of these. Oh wait, uh, one of these. There we go. So we make two portable storage interfaces. Then we stick one. I'd like it to be facing the other way. Ow! Ow! Okay, almost died, but it is working. Uh, <laughs> Good to know. Let's come round here for a second and let's just do this. There we go. Because I would like the portable storage interface to be here and then you do one gap and a block here. And then I need a chest or box here, uh, and you need it to be on a shoot, I believe, here and here. So then I should be able to come here, and now this should technically work if I put, oh, I need to put these in the filters, filter, filter, oh wait, the filters spun around, okay. Uh, we put this in here. If I then do this, it will then plant all the saplings, right? And then, if I try and grow one, it will destroy it. Oh shoot! It's it's left the <laughs> it's left the the thing behind. Wait, no. Uh, we need to stop that. It needs to hold on to that. Maybe we need to glue it. There we go. So, linear thing here, then we need this. Do we maybe hold glue and that should now work, I think? I think if you hold the glue in your right hand, it normally um, it will glue whatever you're looking at. So now if we come down here and we start this again, let's now go back upstairs. It's left these two blocks. Um, so we're, we're almost there on being correct. I think we just need to turn this off one more time. Uh, come back upstairs. And we need to break you and break you, and we need to then place you uh, you uh, so you need to go on this side, and then you God damn honestly, so many saplings, uh, oh my God, more saplings, give me the thing. you need to be placed on this side, and I think that should do it now. Hmm. It seems to have had a moment. Wait. Let's stop it. Sometimes I found this happened when things were touching it when it first starts. It will carry around uh, like extra pieces that I don't want it to. Uh, so we come back over here. We then start it up again. Is that now working? It looks to be. If we now wait for it to go round and grow this one. Ah, oh, we need more bone meal. Damn it. Come down here. Let's get some bones. Uh, some of these. Do these. Now we've got a stack and a half of bone meal. And this will just work automatically in the background. Uh, there we go. Let's not glue the nice tree. Oh. Uh, and if we look here, we're getting stuff.
we can make it as difficult as we want for the machine. It will just chug through. Anything that's like a big connected tree, it will also absolutely ruin. Look at this. And that tree grew automatically. We didn't touch that one. Yeah, I'm happy with this. And this will just spend its day spinning around and collecting stuff. We can make it bigger. We can make it smaller. I don't think you'd want much smaller than this. But we can do this basically, this same thing with harvesters. Um, so mechanical harvesters, but we don't need the planters for harvesters because it will just um, it will just go round and replant. The harvester does an automatic replant. But yeah, so that seems good. So we can place this. Uh, then we can grab a sapling just for the sake of it. And that is one thing checked off of our list, technically, is our automated tree farm now. Don't stand in front of it, because it will try and kill you. But, boom. That one grew automatically, and then it'll just dump it. And it'll just spin forever. We could slow it down, obviously, but there's no real need. Um, so we can actually come over here, and we can, bam, that's one farm done. Uh, let's go down and put some of this stuff away. Oh my god. Uh, put you in here. Uh, you in here. You in here. You are iron sheets. Can go in here. There we go. That is one farm done. Uh, okay. It doesn't seem to be able to chop this tree down. Because I'm imagining because it's too close. So let's turn this off for a second. Let's cut this tree down ourselves. I mean, it would eventually get it when it hits one of these trees, but there's no point in wasting our time. We can just do this. Uh, let's again reset this by just breaking everything that's near it for a second and I can actually come down here and do that with this one let's just yeah let's do this we'll lose out on what a couple trees it's not really going to impact us that much and we, as I said we can always really easily extend this farm to make it bigger um, so let's grab all the saplings up, so we can just straight away chuck them in here, and then we can go back downstairs, reinitialize the clutch, it'll plant everything, and beautiful. So it can't do these ones either, no problem. Why is it not? it just not got saplings? I want to see it plant here. Why didn't it plant here? Wait. Ooh. Spinning blade of death. Uh, is it because that one doesn't have its filter set? Tree, tree, tree. No, no, they all do. Let's break all of these for a second. Okay. And let's make sure we grab all of these. We'll put these in here. Shouldn't matter what chest I use because it acts as just a big inventory. Let's just make sure it's planting on every spot. Did it immediately dump a load of saplings? It did, of course. But it did plant over here, so I think it just needs time. I don't know. 
It's fine. It is working. We can obviously, if we want, just for the sake of it, we can plant. There you go. And it'll just spin forever now. Collecting wood. Lovely. So let's go to sleep. And I think what I'll do is now that you've seen maybe the basics, is I might do the rest of the farms off camera, or at least one of them, um, just so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, I'll do one of the one of the actual harvester farms on camera maybe, um, because we've got other things to do. We've got vaults and stuff, and what we can do is also we can now start taking some of the wood from this farm. We can cook half of it into charcoal, keep the other half sort of thing. Um, we could process it into planks straight away. There's lots that we can now do now that we've got this automated, and it saves me having to chop down this thing all the time. We can just come up here and we can go, oh, how much wood have we got? Oh, plenty. Lovely. Um, so that is good. Uh, we've got our mixer, we've got our press. This we're still going to need time for. I wanted to do it because I think they're very cool, but there's no way we... Well, there's not no way. We just need, of course, enough resources to make, say, one pog. But, of course, we want to make one pog first to do our, um, where is it? Where is this thing that I'm looking for? We want one pog for our crafting bench first, obviously, because that is quite useful. There it is, steam engine. So we need a pog, uh, vault diamonds are nothing. Black chromatic steel is expensive, but we could definitely make at least one um, and get one of these going. But for now, I mean, the fact that this is, it's this one, I think, is running everything. It's not doing too bad. And we can always tap into this one as well. Um, perfect. Let's watch this cut down one more tree, maybe. See if we can uh, spot it doing that. This is very cool. The fact that like it stops and then just... <laughs> done. Move on. Yeah, so we can always, if we ever want to, we can always expand this. There you go, there's that tree that I was looking for, and da, 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 done. Chops down trees quickly as well. I think the speed in which it spins also affects the tree chopping. So if I wanted to, I could always speed that up, but it goes around pretty quickly. But we can always extend this by literally just adding more places and more choppers as much as we want. It could, it could do a huge circle. It wouldn't change anything, really. Um... So if we do need more wood in the future, we can always do that. If we also need different types of wood, we can literally replicate this and just remake it for birch, dark wood, all sorts of things, because it will just chop any tree down. But yeah, I think that is what we're going to call this episode. Uh, it's been a very mod-heavy episode, but this is the first like big mod that we've unlocked, and we've got plenty more to look forward to in the future. So for now, I hope you have a good day, and I will see you guys in the next one.